What's up, friends? This is Guillermo. How you doing? Hope all is well. Today I'm gonna give you a rundown of what I did this week. Uh, let's see. On Wednesday, I saw a lady uh, who was born 1961, about to be 60 years old. And um, you know, the day started off good. I went. I wanted to go help her. That day, I had to go help uh, two more people afterwards. But she was my first client. Uh, when I saw her, uh, the attorney. Uh, Steven Serna, uh, he refers me clients because if people don't qualify for a bankruptcy, he send them over to me so that I can either reduce their interest rates on their credit cards or I could do debt settlement uh, to them. But the lady, uh, he told her that he that, that she qualified for bankruptcy but she was in denial, just like a lot of people are in denial now. Uh, when I talk to her, the main thing people are worried about is their credit. Now. In order to qualify to one of our programs, whether it's debt management or debt settlement, you have to qualify for it. And you have to be making enough money to put some money aside for this, uh, for, for your debt. So I spoke to her. She's so, uh, you know, interested in um, doing debt management because she's going to save her credit. And But then I asked her, how much money does she get paid? She said $800. Now, if you get involved with me, you get a sheet that says, uh, you know, you, we put um, the credit card name, the number, and we put uh, what's the monthly income that they have. So as we were doing the debt analysis to her, I was on the phone because she spoke Spanish, so you know, I was translating to her. And then we were doing to the budgeting. Uh, okay, we can help you, you know, we're going to be able to, uh, you're, you're sending $290 now, but with us, you're going to have to send three hundred and sixty four dollars but you'll be out of debt in three to four years if you keep going the way you're going you're going to be out of debt in 17 years and she was sending the minimum payment on thirteen thousand dollar debt which she had only three so what happens is you know you, we, i try to help her but what happens is that she was only getting she was only getting eight hundred dollars a month for income and her rent is seven hundred and forty dollars we couldn't help her if we were to help her, we'll have the FTC on our backs because the FTC is watching all these debt settlement companies and, you know, we want to make sure that we're doing a good job for our clients. If this client can't afford our program, then she's going to have to go through bankruptcy. And, of course, that's what I, I told her for. But, you know, people want to know their options, and that's why people get a second opinion. Like the attorney. The attorney told her, you know, you qualify, but she wanted a second opinion. This is why one of the good reasons why you, uh, people who get involved in debt settlement, to go to attorneys. And because a lot of people are in denial right now. No, I'm not going to have a chapter, you know, even though if I want to, I want to save my credit. He sent it over to me. And then I said, you look, you don't qualify for debt management, reducing interest rates, and you don't qualify for debt settlement because you don't make that much money. That she got teary eyed, and she actually, you know, she actually cried. But uh, you know, I told her you have anyone uh, who's helping you out. She said no. I mean, it's tough because I see these people, and you know, uh, my mother's around her age, and you know, um, it's just it's just tough because you've seen these people. They worked all their life, and you know, they were getting good money, but then the 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 overtime stops, and then you can't do anything no more because the way the economy is, they're cutting back on everything. So that's what happened, but in the afternoon, that afternoon, I actually helped out two people. Uh, you know, a uh, person who was $21,000 in debt, we're going to reduce his debt, and at the same time, I'm going to fix his credit because he wants to buy a house in the next three to six months. But he wants to pay off this debt. He's a construction worker. He has uh, he has his own company, so he has money coming in uh, now that, you know, in the thousands of dollars. So he's like, well, how can you reduce that to less money? So that I could give you in three or four payments. I said, well, we could do that as well. So that's why um, I'm going to fix his credit through United Credit Education Services, and I'm going to settle his debt at the same time, which is going to be pretty good. And then I went to see another client of mine in Plainfield. Uh, this client was, wants to buy a house in about two to three months. She wants to fix her credit and wants to know what's in her credit account. She wanted to buy uh, purchase a, a car back in January, but they called her and said that she had problems with her credit and she wasn't going to be able to qualify for a loan. Next thing you know, I'm in there with her. I'm at her house. 
I'm doing all this uh, the, 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 the to her, and um, but I go into annualcreditreport.com. When she sees that she has judgment, when she sees uh, things that are not hers, she starts freaking out. And one other thing about you, me being in this business, I'm learning that people, uh, when you tell them what's on your credit report, they, they're thinking that you're sending that to them. And they get angry, and they get annoyed, and they say, yeah, well, that's not mine. I say, hey, listen, I'm reading this off the computer. This is what you have. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it was, it was, it's crazy, but... You know, I have to be at a level of professionalism to just maintain myself. You know, I knew this person personally, so I could be like, yo, this is why it's here. You know, this is what stays here, you know, on the computer. This is yours, all right? Even though it's yours or it's not, it couldn't be yours. Yeah, but I'll pay for this, I'll pay for that. Hey, listen, that's why it's showing. But I'm doing her credit repair, and, um, you know, uh, hopefully in three to six months, her credit will be, um, you know, with United Credit Education Services, it's really a, a good program that we get with the credit restoration. But, uh, you know, I had that going on for the week. And, uh, you know, so happy because, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of referrals right now because they know that Guillermo is serious. He's giving people good education and giving people good service. That's why I get people calling me. You can contact me as well. 973-441-5287 if you want to know how we could reduce your credit card interest rates debt management, I could give you a free analysis on that. If you want to know how to reduce your debt 25 to 50%, I can help you on that. And one of the things I like to do is give people free evaluations or, or free consultations before they decide to go with me because there's other people out there. But uh, the way I approach my clients, there's, there's no other way that they go somewhere else because they see that I'm being honest with them, I have integrity, and I'm, and I'm, I'm authentic with them. That's the reason why people have trust me. I, again, you can reach me here on, 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 um, on YouTube, on MySpace, Facebook, all these other uh, websites that I'm on. And, uh, you know, I'm here to talk to you and uh, let you know what are your options, okay? Nice to meet you and um, hope you give me a call. Take care. Bye-bye.